Hi everyone, my name is Lee Jackson. I'm with the Nyabi Zoo and we are so excited to have you come back and spend time with us again. We just got word from the state of Illinois that we're allowed to open and we're really anxious to get things going. So if you come with me, I can talk you through some of the things that you'll see that'll be a little different, uh, but shouldn't take too much away from your experience. Also, something new for this season, we will be limiting the number of people in the park to 500 per block. Now, you might ask what a block is. The blocks will be two blocks, one in the morning and one in the afternoon, so that we can have no more than a thousand people at the zoo at a time. You'll have to buy your tickets now online, and you can do that by going to nyabizoo.com. Hey everybody, now we're gonna cover guest check-in. So this might be a little complicated, but I'll try to talk slow, even though I talk fast usually. So. When you're checking in, before you even exit your car, you're going to make sure you have either your printed ticket or your, your, um, your electronic device that shows that you have your ticket that has your scan. You're going to make sure all your party is together. You're going to make sure that everybody's going to walk up together at the appropriate time. Remember, we have two time blocks, 9 to 12, last check-in at 11, you have till noon to depart. Then in the afternoon, it's 12 to 3. You have until 2 o'clock to get here, but you will depart at 3. Bring all of your personal items because we are not going to be able to let you come back in after you've already checked in. Remember, as you come up to the plaza, we've got our mask zone, our facial covering. We can get creative with this, you guys. I'm living my best life in my masks. You know, got about 20 now. I'm loving it. So once you get up here, check your pockets, check your purse, check how many people are in your party, and then come on in observing our six-foot social distancing uh, paw prints. We're going to make sure we have our printed ticket or our e-ticket on our phone or tablet. As we enter into our ticket booth, you'll notice all of our staff have masks. We do have protective shields here. Remember now, I know it's a bummer, things are different now, but we cannot sell you tickets here. We're going to go with what you've got going on here. Your parking ticket's paid, your, or your parking pass is paid, your tickets are paid, you got your kids, you got your glasses, you got your personal items. We're going to put our paper up that we have our printed ticket on. They're going to scan us. We don't have maps this year, so we don't have one more thing that we're touching to spread the, the, the coronavirus. We're going to say, hey, this, this lady is going to say, have a great time, and then we're going to come on through our ticket booth. Now keep in mind, typically we might want to go to our right if we're going to go this way, but our buildings are closed right now. The zoo map. Of course we have our large zoo maps uh, here at the zoo for you to use to find your way around, but remember there aren't going to be paper maps given out at the, uh, the admission booths, so you can of course use uh, your cell phone uh, to access our map on our website. Uh, we will also have a QR code uh, at the front entrance booths in which you can scan that, so if you have a QR uh, code scanner that's a quick and easy way to get to it, uh, but of course you'll be able to even download our map from our website, niabizoo.com go to plan your visit and you'll see the zoo map right there so you can either download it and print it yourself if you really want a paper map but we'd ask you to bring it on your own or just have it on your phone so that you can just look at it anytime you want so let's kind of talk about the proper way to wear a mask there's some there's a great illustration by the who uh, by CDC first we're going to make sure our, our hands are washed um, we're going to put our mask on using our loops or even tie backs, our bandana, whatever you guys are choosing as a face covering. We're going to put it over our ears or behind our head. We're going to have it kind of uh, where it's comfortable for us. It is covering the nose. It is covering the mouth. It's on in a nice comfortable way for ourselves and safe for others as we're uh, passing them. Now, I've been out in the Quad Cities and I've seen some things, you guys. It's not this, it's not this, this weird beard thing going on. It's not a cute hair thing like this. It is absolutely this, nose, mouth, comfortable on our face. But we're doing this to keep each other safe and healthy to get through this pandemic together. But we wanna keep our staff safe as well as you guys and the animals. So thank you for understanding that. 
Now, social distancing. We've come past that very important mask zone. We've come out into some of the open air uh, spots of the zoo. We can actually take our mask off, though I'm loving the mask look. I'm living my best life behind the mask. So you're going to see throughout the zoo, we're going to have keep a hawk's wingspan apart. We're going to have le keep a leopard apart. You're going to see these uh, shadow silhouette signs all around the zoo. All right, so here we are at the Treehouse Snack Shack. Uh, we will have the concession stands open, uh, but it'll be a limited capacity. Um, we will only be selling items that are kind of take and go, so there won't be uh, food that you're gonna sit down and eat a meal at a table and all of that. We also won't have our fountain drinks, uh, so we'll be selling like bottled and canned drinks. Uh, but even when you're waiting to place your order, please notice again that we do have uh, our footprints, our social distancing footprints. Uh, so when the next person is ready, then you move up to this one. And then when that person is done, you can walk up a little closer. Uh, place your order here. Uh, again, we've got our face shields or the shields for our staff up here. Uh, notice, of course, that we still have our social distancing, keep a llama's length apart, or uh, I like this one personally, it's uh, keep two crested porcupine lengths apart uh, as you move down to pick up your items at this window here. Now, when you are welcome to still use our picnic tables, but if you notice, the picnic tables themselves are also socially distanced apart, so there isn't as many. Uh, so we just ask that you be mindful uh, of when you're eating here, uh, that as soon as you're done, try to leave so that other people can use that. Now, you may also notice that we have the barriers up uh, to the playground. Unfortunately, the playground is gonna to have to be closed. I know that's gonna make some kids not very happy, but at the same time, we have to remember that it is almost impossible to keep cleaning a playground for children. So uh, that unfortunately will remain closed as well. Now, as we move over here, you'll notice that we have our big restrooms. Now, the restrooms will be open, but in going to the restroom, you do also need to keep your mask on. We would ask you to keep your mask on near the food areas, uh, but definitely as you're walking into the bathroom, uh, you don't know who's in there. If it appears to be crowded in the bathroom, we would ask you to wait outside the building until it clears out a little bit and then be able to go in there. So please try not to congregate in the bathroom. Now, as we mentioned, the front building is closed which means the front bathrooms are closed. So these are the closest bathrooms to the entrance. We will also have the uh, bathrooms open at Biodiversity Hall, but unfortunately Biodiversity Hall itself will be closed, but just the bathrooms will be open. Uh, the bathrooms that are at the Wild Paw concession stand in the back of the zoo, those bathrooms will be open, but that concession stand will also be closed. So if you want food, you can get it at uh, the Treehouse Snack Shack, or of course you can bring your own food you can bring your own water and drinks, even bring a picnic blanket, and you could have a nice little picnic right on our festival lawn. When we're coming up to exhibits, where we know there's going to be kind of a cluster area, we just can't help it, the monkeys are doing something super cute, um, the lions are hanging out, we're going to follow our footsteps. We're going to come in and we're going to know that between every footprint is six foot distancing. Now when we come up to the glass, and remember, let's wear our mask in these types of situations because we can't help but get a little bit close, get excited. The kibbins are doing something really kind of kind of cool and fun. They're swinging. Um, they're hanging out, eating something really yummy. And we're, we can't help. We get our phone out. We want to take a picture. But as we're up here in our six foot uh, position, keep in mind also, I know we kind of want to usually lean on our glass and try to get rid of the glare. Let's not touch the high traffic areas. We're gonna do eyes on, talons off, or paws off, or hooves off. We're not gonna lean up against. We are disinfecting every two hours throughout the entire zoo in our high traffic touch areas. But please, for your safety, let's try to remember we're not going to touch um, with our hands. And if we do, let's go right to one of our, our hand sanitizer stations or wash our hands for 20 seconds. We've got reminder signs in the restrooms as well about proper hygiene with our hands. And hopefully we'll remember our social distancing. 
All right, everyone, we uh, will have the gift shop open. So we see the Wild Things gift shop, uh, but there are some rules uh, before going in the gift shop. First, there's only 12 guests allowed in at a time uh, because we want to make sure that we're keeping our social distancing in there. Uh, we do want to wear our mask or facial covering in the building. Uh, and uh, when we are inside, we want to make sure that we use our eyes and uh, have our eyes on and paws off uh, on some of the items in the merchandise inside there. So of course I have my mask on, we're gonna go in. So let's go take a look. So of course we have all the great and beautiful inventory here uh, at the gift shop ready to go uh, for everybody. Uh, but if uh, you take a look right here, you'll notice that these signs, whether it is a meerkat, whether it is an owl, this one would be eyes on, claws off maybe, uh, but uh, you'll see those signs. So we don't want you to pick up the merchandise and hold it and look at it and then put it back because that's a high touch point. So with children, that could be very challenging. So we wanna make sure that uh, you can look at it, but don't touch it until you're ready to buy it. And then go ahead and pick it up and take it over uh, to our checkout area. Uh, we do have our uh, face shield, or the, the large shields here, of course, uh, to help protect our staff and you uh, and minimizing the touch points even with our checkout here. But we do want you still to be able to spend some money here at the zoo gift shop because we have some really great items and we're still supporting conservation uh, with a lot of these same items. Uh, so we're really excited for you to be able to come into the gift shop to buy the things that you really want. Okay, now for the fun part of your visit to Niobe Zoo. We know we've laid a lot of new modifications out on you, but we want you to have a good time. All of our outdoor habitats will be ready for you. Our buildings are closed at this time per the state of Illinois. Makes sense. We got some cool things to show you on the inside. We've got some cool things to show you on the outside as well. We've put a pause on some of our experiences, including some of our rides, but we're going to have a good time. We're going to be here as a staff. We'll be behind the ones behind the cool mask. Um, we're starting a movement with the cool mass, um, but we're here for you to answer your questions, to guide you on a really nice time, and how much better can it be when you're right next to this beautiful forest. So come on out. We're excited to welcome you.